So uh, this is a fun dish. Um, it's kind of taking a classic idea behind Dover sole, mm -hmm. which when you usually get a Dover sole, you think of like the whole roasted, pan seared, yep. done table side with the lemon butter. Yeah, which is one of my favorites, excuse me. Um, we're gonna do something similar to that, um, but we're gonna doll it up a little bit cool. for you. Um, but the first thing you still got to do is clean the sole. Um, we're going to skin it first by piercing the skin a little bit. Okay. You can see it's even got some scales on it. Yeah, so. it doesn't matter. We're going to get them up anyways. Well, I think it's a testament to how, how fresh it is. Yeah. Uh, we just got this in yesterday. Nice. Which means it was probably pulled the day before, mm -hmm. which is nice. So uh, skinning sole is a little bit different than a lot of other fish. You're yeah, not gonna... I've never seen it done this way. All right, well, it's, you might, I might let you do the other side. You're but... actually going to just peel it back? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So then one big. Wow. How about that? Yeah. Looks like you need some muscle for it, though. <laughs> you want to try the other side? <laughs> that was impressive. No. I'll try it. That's I don't know another. if I can handle it, though. All right, let's see. This the the. Downside, this is a, you always tell this is the side, you know, the eyes are on this side, mm -hmm. and that's why it gets all the color, because mm -hmm. that's facing the sun. Okay. So this is the, the white side of the fish, this is the side that obviously doesn't get the sun. This is the The pale, eyes are really small, too. The pale version of the fish. Yeah. <laughs> the Irish side of the fish. There you go. I, know I can say that. that. I can say that I'm Irish. Yeah, so me too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, let's see if I can get that up a little bit for you. It's a huge pair of tweezers you have, too. Yeah, these are pretty useful. So we'll get it started a little bit for you. Wow. I'm going to hold that. All right. With your left hand. I'm gonna use and then it. just, no, 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 no. I got a paper towel. You got a paper towel. Okay. It's going to slip out of your hand. Ah, all right. One big motion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah close enough. <laughs> close enough. I'm fired. Yeah, it's OK. So we got it. It's, it's only $30 a pound. Yeah, it's, it's only Dover Soul. No big deal. <laughs> That's all right. Best part about being a chef is, or the most consistent part about being a chef is fixing mistakes. Absolutely. All right. And you just fixed my mistake. Yeah. So thank you. There you go. All right. So we all have right. some beautiful guts still some in here. Some beautiful guts. See. We're going to take those out for you. Don't <laughs> worry. All right. So these... These are just uh, some Joyce Chen scissors. These are pretty indispensable in the kitchen. We use them for breaking down poultry, breaking down fish. They're, mm -hmm. they're pretty Joyce versatile. Chen is a legend. Joyce Chen. No, this is a flat fish. Typically, like we said, in, in a normal French restaurant, we would just roast this whole thing, mm -hmm. fillet it table side. You get the old guy coming to the table with the tuxedo and taking <laughs> the fillets off and doing the lemon sauce. We're going to actually take all the bones out of this. Oh, wow. So we'll score right down the center. So is this different from taking the fillets off? You're still keeping yeah, it intact? Yeah, we're going to keep the fillets off, but we'll leave them attached to the head. Hmm. Yeah. This is really neat. The first time we did this, I was like, oh, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you how to do like, this? Hmm. Uh, this is kind of something I figured out by myself. OK. Uh, I used to do a truffle stuffed turbo dish, mm -hmm. um, and then when I was working at Lebec Fin, we used to do the old school style Dover sole dish. And I was like, why can't we just make this fun? It's just so right. stodgy. Right. And just, I don't know, it's a little bit, I like, don't get me wrong, I like old school stuff. But once in a while, it's like, dude, let's update it. Let's have fun with it once in a while. Yeah, definitely. And that's kind of what Laurel's about is old school French food, but we like to do some tricks and make it a little bit more American, mm -hmm. a little bit more updated, uh, a little bit more fun. Nice. Yeah, we're very carefully just trying to get the fillets away from the body of the fish. Okay. But as you see, when I get towards the top, I'm leaving it attached mm -hmm. to the head. Almost there, I swear. <laughs> Now, do you keep the bones, make stock? Yeah, I'll show you this. Okay. I've actually made stock and brought some with me. Nice. Uh, we make a dashi style. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it right there. So we'll do the bones and we'll roast them really well. Okay. And then let them steep and then put a little bit of seaweed and bonito mm -hmm. in there. Kombu? Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And bonito, you said? And bonito, yep. Mm -hmm. The uh, shaved, smoked, dried tuna. 
So now we have, technically this is your whole Dover sole. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna very gently take all of its bones out. Wow. So this is a really labor intensive process. This is, it is. this would feed one person, two people? This will feed two people. Mm -hmm. So now, we're gonna lightly season it right now. So this is called Activa. It's actually just a protein binder. Hmm. Um, not like that yogurt. No, that's <laughs> no, that's not that. <laughs> Certainly not. Yeah. So we're just going to uh, dust it. Once we put the truffles inside, mm -hmm. we'll lay it down and wrap it up, and that Activa, once it sits for a couple hours, will kind of bind all the fillets together. It's like that meat glue. Yeah. Is that kind of that stuff we kind of hear about when people call it meat okay. glue? Uh, it just, it does, I think it, it gets a bad rap, but mm -hmm. if not for Activa, then we wouldn't be able to do some of the things we do. It, it's great with uh, terrine work and pate work. Um, it's kind of good for changing the profile of a protein or adding another protein. I mean, we've done other things where we've just taken fish fillets and added prosciutto to the center. Okay. And then sealed them back together. Yeah. And it essentially becomes the same thing. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. So, once so it's wait, let's, let's not glaze over, over the this. fact that we're using <laughs> um, some winter truffles, okay. uh, some French black Perigordine truffles. Mm -hmm. Would you ever use white truffles for this yeah, instead? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't think, I don't like white truffles with fish so much, mm -hmm. more a like strong. of a meat thing. And I always think of white truffles as like such a pure, mm -hmm. when we do white truffles at the restaurant, it's usually like with just risotto or a little bit okay. of pasta. We don't try to mess with it too much. That's good. All right, so we have truffles inside of Dover sole. Okay. And we're gonna wrap it up. And, and what's that this do? So this okay. is just gonna let it, it needs to sit for a couple hours. Okay. So the Activa can kind of like do its bind thing. itself together. Okay. So we don't have a couple hours. <laughs> so there we go. Let's move this over and get this thing cooking. Throw a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna get a relatively large pan. Obviously you want a pan large enough for your fish to fit in. Okay. Makes sense. So we're trying to brown some butter here before we get that going. I love the smell of brown butter. Yeah, we use, as you can see by my big plate of butter here, we go through a fair <laughs> amount of butter at the restaurant. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this is the fish that has been oh, activated wow. for a day or so. It's just completely fused yep. together. When you put the fish in, does that stop the browning process at all? Or? Yeah, for the most part, but mm -hmm. you still need to gauge it a little bit. Sure. Um, if you feel like it's going a little bit too fast and it's starting to brown too much, you can just slow it down by dropping the temperature or adding a little bit more butter, which mm -hmm. we like to do. We're going to sear this fish on both sides, and mm -hmm. we're going to throw it on, on a rack. I like to cook proteins on racks on sheet trays so the air is going around the Circulate. entire thing. I feel like if you put it directly on things like this, it'll start to, I don't know, boil a okay. little bit on the bottom mm -hmm. and like sear on the top. So you kind of lose that crispness yeah. that you get in the pan. I'm gonna try not to burn you. That's okay. <laughs> That's now, okay. would you ever leave the skin on in this application? Uh, not on Dover sole, no. The skin okay. on Dover, there's like certain Tough. fish, yeah, like Dover sole skin is not. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna cook this the whole way in the pan. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna pull it out. Could you theoretically? You could. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the um, Electrolux. Uh, a combi oven. Yeah, we old combi oven. Let's check our fish real quick. So this only needs a couple of minutes. A uh, couple, couple eight. Now I notice your temperature is relatively low. It's about yeah. We want to go nice and degrees. slow. Okay. So um, this is a cake tester. Mm -hmm. This is how we usually generally figure out whether or not something's cooked. Uh, you gotta remember there's, the muscles in a fish kind of run diagonally, mm -hmm. and they're separated by like kind of, let's call them tendons or ligaments or something. Once those start breaking down, you know that they're, and this slides in and out easily, you, you know that you're pretty close. Also, if it's like warm on the inside, mm -hmm. it's good. So this is about medium rare, it'll probably carry over by itself real quick. So you wanna serve this medium or fully cooked through? Uh, medium. Okay. 